good morning to everyone this is amir basha and welcome to the series of get practical session in the previous session we we talked about the overview of git now in this session i am going to show you how to connect visual studio 2015 to an existing git project the main agenda of this session is one what are the prerequisites required for the you know visual studio 2015 to connect to a git project second we are going to show you the live demo how to connect visual studio 2015 to git project and the next one get an account in visual studio 2015 to create a git project and finally i am going to show you how what are the hiccups that we have as of now in Visual Studio 2015 and 2013 and what are the hiccups that we are facing in the browsers okay first coming to the prerequisite so at least we need to install Visual Studio 2012 with the update 3 version or Visual Studio 2013 includes git tools or Visual Studio 2015 installed in our local machine. So we strongly recommend to you know install latest browser internet latest browser in our system. That is you no know, latest IE version or the Google Chrome. As I shown you, when you are going to install you know Visual Studio 2015, please select the below options that are the common tools that what we have. You know git for windows that is a third party and select github extension for visual studio that is also a third party tools and please select the option visual studio extensibility tools update 3 version these are the prerequisites that we need to install you know while you are going to select for the uh, uh, you know while you are working with the visual studio 2015 okay Coming to the live demo, how we are going to connect Visual Studio 2015, I'll show you right now. First, we need to create an account or, you know, we need to get an account in MicrosoftVisualStudio.com. Lot of people are working in the companies, right? They don't want to worry about the this account because of, the, uh, you know, the company will provide, uh, you know, the code each, each and everything in microsoft.visualstudio.com. They will provide the access to them. And still we need to check it out. Do we have the permissions or not for the particular project or not? So how we are going to check it out? First, let me open my Visual Studio. I'm going to open, open Visual Studio 2015 as in the mode of run as administrator. Once the Visual Studio 2015 open, you need to manage the account. Okay, so first of all, we need to connect to our Visual Studio Team Foundation server to get the source code, to get a copy of the source code. Okay, so what are the things that we require to connect? So my Visual Studio 2015 is up and running. I need to go for the team and manage connections. So manage connections when you're going to, if you see on my right hand side, I'm having team explorer. The connectivity is in offline mode. Now, first of all, I need to connect to my manage connections, right? So when I am clicking on the drop down button, it is showing two options. One is connect to team project. Another one is connect to GitHub. I'm going to select connect to team project. It will ask you, you know, a pop-up window, select a team foundation server. So as of now, I didn't add any servers, right? I need to add a server by clicking on the servers. If you see, this is the existing project that what I have selected. In the companies that what you have to do, you know, working environment, you need to connect to Microsoft dot Visual Studio dot com. So if you connect to Visual, Microsoft Visual Studio dot com, it will ask you the permissions. So as of now that I am not, uh, I am working on the you know uh, free trial version of the Visual Studio. 
I'm not connecting to the you know Microsoft dot Visual Studio dot com from here. That what I'm going to do, I'm using my account to uh, to log in into this one. How I'm going to do that? Okay, first of all, you need to log in into you know Microsoft dot Visual Studio dot com. So this is already I have opened it. Provide the credentials with you know you have to log in with your live account or the Microsoft account. If you don't have you know get a new account. By you can see you know a tab get a new account. If you don't have the access for the Visual Studio dot com. Please get a new account. As of now, that I am already having, you know, access to. Uh, I have already created and I have already, you know, got a new account for the Microsoft Visual Studio dot com. After providing the uh, ID and the password, it is logging into my benefits account of the Visual Studio. Okay. So if you see, Visual Studio has providing a lot of features. On my right hand side, you know, Visual Studio Team Server accounts that I'm having, I have already created so many accounts. Okay, but still, if you want a new account, you can go for the create new account. If you see over here, I want to host my project at what is the name? It it should be unique name, right? So I'm giving as of now as Git Practical Session. Okay, so I want to manage. Uh, I'm just giving a unique name over here. Once, if you see, if it is acceptable, then it is going to ask manage code. So it has to be managed in Git or by using you know Team Foundation version control. So if you are going to select right now, we are going we are going to work on the Git. I'm going to select the option called Git. But in your company, you don't want to worry about that one. If the, if your company is managing your code in Git. It's automatically you will get the projects like this, which for which projects you are uh, able to access. Okay, right now as I shown you, Git practical session, Visual Studio that I'm going to connect it. If you see under Git practical session dot Visual Studio dot com, this is my and I'm having a lot of projects that have already published into this one. You don't have to worry right now. You know, I will show you how to publish the code in the future sessions. Okay, right now what I am going to do, I am going back to my Visual Studio, and I have, and I am going to add my you know, Team Foundation server that is you know Git Practical Session dot Visual Studio dot com, and I am saying to click OK. It's you know the Team Foundation server already exists over here. I don't want to add this one, right? Then close it, and then select Git Practical Session Visual Studio dot com. Okay, now I have already given my credentials over here, so it will ask you when you are doing it. It will ask you, you know, once again the credentials you have to provide it, and select the project which you need to connect it. As of now, that I am going to work on the test Git project which has already given the credentials and the each and every code is available over there. Okay, and I am just going to connect it. Okay, if you see that my Visual Studio Team Foundation servers has connected to project. For which project? This is the Git practical session Visual Studio dot com slash test Git slash test Git team project. This is you know my project that what I'm going to get it, and I'm going to work it in the next sessions, next all the sessions. Okay, I'm going to work on this one. From here also, if you want to you know. Uh, open into the browser. You can just click over here, and the browser will open for the project. Okay. So if you see that you know there's a lot of features that what we are having. If you see on my screen for the Git practical session, I can see what is the code that I'm having, what are the code files that what I have, and what are the work items that I have for the project, and build and releases. If I can go ahead and I can test the project and I can run multiple times, okay. So this is about the you know how we are going to connect to Visual Studio 2015 to an existing Git project or else by creating a new project. And I have shown you how to signing into the Microsoft Visual Studio dot com. 
and, and how you are going to be you know creating a new account over there and how you are going to fetch that data or you know managing your source code to visual studio to uh, visual studio 2015 okay and coming to next slide so what are the hiccups you will face it if you are already working if you are working on visual studio 2013 or 2015 you will find the below issues if you see over here when i'm going to connect to manage that uh, microsoft.visualstudio.com the what are the projects that you have you are unable to get it over here so you if you have hundreds of projects under one uh, repository or one uh, project the scroll bar in visual studio 2013 won't be appear but whereas in uh, visual studio 2015 you can you are able to you know scroll down a little uh, sc uh, scroll down a lot and you can select whatever the project is required next one the browser issues so when i'm working on the you know uh, internet explorer on the ie 11 i found you know when i'm going to create a request like pull request i'm unable to see the options over there okay these are the two hiccups that as of now until this session that we are having these issues okay so when you are facing these issues so don't worry about that one just you know what are the latest updates that you need to install in your local machine it is better to use Visual Studio 2015, okay, with the latest version. And uh, you know, please use browsers Google Chrome or Firefox or Internet Explorer with the latest updates. Uh, it will be working very fine. So, in the in my next session, that what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a repository. I will show you how to create a repository. And after that, how to get the latest code into a local machine and how you are going to create a local repositories and server repositories or the remote repositories. And I will show you how to create clones of the project. Okay. Thanks for watching this video. So I will be available on basha.amir86 at rate of gmail.com. If you have any queries, you can ping me at any time. Thank you.